Hello and welcome to Forgotten Coins. In this episode, we're going to focus on Substratum. I will be giving you an overview of what the project is. We will discuss some of the announcements and news around the project. And then to wrap up, I will be giving you my thoughts on the project and whether I think it has any potential in the future. A big shout out to all of our community members and returning subscribers. If you are new to the channel, my name is Fez and I am one of many influencers for Bitcoin for Beginners. If you'd like to meet the rest of the team, then I suggest checking out some more of our content after this video. But for now, we're gonna have a look at what is Substratum. If we just take a quick look at a quote that I've taken from the site, you can see they quote themselves as a developing open source foundation for the decentralized web, providing unrestricted and uncensored access to content for a new web 3.0. Countries like China and Russia, censorship of the internet is an everyday thing that they just have to deal with. They don't have the same sort of access to the wide range of information that is out on the internet that we have in the Western world. That said, I know from living in the UK, there are sites that I cannot access, my internet service providers blocked access. So to get around that, I either have to use a VPN or a virtual private network, or I have to go around and use proxies to access sites and what Substratum is trying to do is create a decentralized network where you don't have to use these the network itself hosts the information and you can access any website that is hosted on the network regardless of where you are in the world okay so Substratum's aim is to create a decentralized web so rather than being a distributed ledger technology or a blockchain it's a decentralized network as such they use ERC20 tokens for their tokenomics and sending money backwards and forwards and utilizing the network the subtokens are not mineable, there is a finite number. So the subtoken is used to pay for resources to host on the network. So should a company or a website want to host on the Substratum network, they have to pay for the resources used in Substratum. This gives the token its value. Okay, so the network in a nutshell. We have three elements that make up the Substratum network. We have the hosts, which are basically servers that store information. We have the nodes, and they send information backwards and forwards. Then we have the web visitors. This is people like you and I using our web browsers to access the websites. Okay, so hopefully that makes sense. If you would like more information or a more detailed explanation, then there's loads of information out there on Reddit, Telegram channel, as well as on the Substratum website. So I suggest you go and check out those sources. Now let's have a quick look at the roadmap and see what they've achieved to date. Okay, we'll go through this very briefly. We have the ICO going on in the third quarter of 2017 and they managed to raise 12 million dollars in the fourth quarter they get the coin listed on KuCoin and Binance and they announced that the private beta has been a success in the first quarter of this year we have a big marketing push from Substratum and in the second quarter we have the release of the public beta of version 0.3 of the Substratum nodes and we also see that they start development on crypto pay as well what I find interesting at the moment is the public betas of the Substratum nodes. It's nice to see a beta out there. It would be even better to see, you know, a working product, but I still think this is quite a way off in the future. We're only just starting to develop crypto pay. They're still developing hosts, and the only thing currently that is working are the nodes. So we're going to have a quick look at what is coming in the future. Okay, so we have more releases of betas coming out in the near future with the Substratum node version 0.4 soon to be released. This should feature connections to other nodes which will enable users to bypass internet service providers censorship of the internet which at present we are unable to do we do still have the host and crypto pay in development and there is no word on how soon these are going to be coming out i have heard rumors of a fourth product on the telegram chat that is to be released in the future but as of yet nobody knows what this product is so that could be something to watch out for okay so let's wrap up there isn't a lot out there for this project and I'm not sure how much of a future it has. I've downloaded the open beta of the Substratum node and the user interface is very, very basic, but at the same time, you have to change the DNS settings to enable it to interact with the network. Now, this isn't a problem for those that are relatively tech savvy, but for those everyday users, this might be out of their reach, which excludes a lot of people from being able to play around with Substratum. The Substratum version that is out 
at the moment it appears to not connect to other substratum nodes therefore it's not decentralized and I cannot bypass anything that my internet service providers have blocked from my connection this is supposed to be fixed in version 4 in version 5 we have the monetization coming out but we still don't have any word on hosts or crypto pay and we have this mystery product in the future now I know some of you out there may be substratum holders and very keen on the project but I just think that whilst it's a very noble cause there are many other competitors that may be further along in their timeline and closer to releasing a final product don't just take my word on it why not go out there and do your own research there's a whole range of sources out there full of information for you guys to check out so I really recommend that you do that so that's it for this video hopefully you've enjoyed it and you found it somewhat informative if you have it would be great if you could smash that like button if you want to stay up to date with more of our videos you can hit subscribe as well as clicking the bell icon to stay notified of all of our future releases. I've been Fez for Bitcoin for Beginners. Take care.